Today's topic, 13 signs of a controlling man. Today I want to share the signs with you that show you that the man that you are dating or the man that you might consider dating is a controlling man. And in case you are not in a relationship yet with this man, I highly recommend that you stay away from him. And in case you are already in a relationship with him, then you might want to click on the second link in the description and book a Skype coaching session with me. Because I've helped women who've been trapped in toxic relationships to get out of these toxic relationships and to then find and eventually also get and keep the right man, a man who loves them unconditionally. And you deserve a man who truly loves you. But the last thing you want is to be in a relationship with a man who controls you and who uses the name of love in a way to control you, which is of course not real love. And that's why it's so important to know these signs of a controlling man. And the first sign is that a controlling man absolutely hates it when he feels inferior to others. This is like losing control for him, the complete loss of control. Let's say, for example, you invite him and one of your friends who also recently met a new guy to a double date. And then your boyfriend or the man that you consider dating in case you are not yet in a relationship, he then sees that this guy is more successful than him and maybe even a little bit better looking. And he sees this man as a threat, as direct competition. If he's a control freak, he will not allow you or let's say he will try to forbid that you meet your friend and her boyfriend again. And if he shows this behavior, if he wants to control who you see and he doesn't want you to be around any man who could possibly be a threat to him and who could possibly be competition to him, this is a clear sign that he's a very controlling man and that he hates it when he feels inferior to another man, even though you don't give him any sign that would make him jealous. It doesn't make any sense. You tell him that he doesn't have to worry about anything, but he still reacts like that. This is a clear sign that this man is controlling and when he opens old wounds to make you feel guilty. With a man like that, it's like as if you have debt that you have to pay off for the rest of your life and you will be never finished paying it off. No matter what happens, he always opens old wounds. Let's say you once had an argument and maybe, just maybe, you were once in the wrong, just this one time, usually 99% of the cases, he's always wrong, but this one time you were wrong. Now, whenever you have an argument, he will open this old wound and he will blame you for being wrong. And remember this one time when you disappointed me and this one time when you did that to me, this one time when you didn't show me unconditional love. And this is extremely toxic behavior. And my advice in this situation is to get out. And that's why I said in the beginning of this episode, if you want, you can click on the second link in the description and book a Skype coaching session with me. Then you share your story with me and then we work together to step by step guide you out of this relationship. And I then help you to develop the confidence and the positive energy and the positive beliefs that will allow you to attract the right man. And another thing that controlling men love to do is to make you feel guilty for everything, just everything, no matter if you eat cake. And he then immediately says, how many calories does that have? Do you really want to look like that? Do you really want to eat that cake? Come on, what are you doing? Or you bought a new dress. Do you want to financially ruin us? Oh God, you're spending so much money. Why do you do that? Or if you want to spend time with your friends, he then says, do you love them more than me? Why don't you want to spend time with me? Why do you always want to go to your friends? Don't you love me? Do you want to leave me? This is extremely controlling and toxic behavior. And this is also a clear sign to get out of this relationship. A lot of my Skype coaching clients, or I wouldn't say a lot, but let's say the ones who contacted me because they were trapped in toxic relationships, they stayed in these relationships for way too long because controlling men are extremely good at making you believe that he's always right and at making you believe that you are the one who doesn't show him enough love and that he always shows you love. They are very good at manipulating and that's why it's so helpful to have the opinion from a third person when it comes to your situation because often when we are trapped in such a situation then we are blind to what's going on or sometimes 
we tell ourselves that everything is alright because we've already invested so much in the relationship. And you can ask your friends, you can ask your family members, or like I said, you can ask me in a Skype coaching session. But it's important that you honestly look at your relationship and that you don't just ignore these red flags, but that you see them and then take the necessary action steps. And what if it's impossible to have a normal and constructive argument with him? Whenever you are having an argument, he either runs away, he then leaves and then later wants you to apologize, or he immediately thinks, okay, attack is the best defense, I'm gonna blame you for everything. And this behavior makes it impossible for you to have a normal relationship, because in every relationship you have disagreements, even though the relationship with my girlfriend is 99% of the time very harmonic and I love her very much and she loves me very much. But sometimes we have a disagreement. And if we would then be controlling partners, or let's say one of us would be a controlling partner, and one of us would always run away, blame the other person, leave immediately, and then guilt trip the other person into apologizing, it would be completely impossible to have a normal relationship between two adults. Because then one of the two parties is always acting like a little child who's throwing a temper tantrum. And this, in your case, is your boyfriend or your husband, in case he shows these behaviors. And he believes that your closet is his territory. That's also something that controlling men love to do. And this is often amplified when these controlling men come from very traditional family backgrounds and very traditional cultures. For example, if you wear a beautiful dress, and maybe even a short dress, but you feel really beautiful and comfortable in it, then you should wear it. But what if he says, don't wear that, that looks cheap. Do you want people to see you like that? That's controlling behavior. And please don't confuse this with when your boyfriend says, hey, I love to see you in this dress, it looks amazing. I do that too with my girlfriend. When she wears certain dresses, I just love how she looks in these dresses. And then I tell her, I love seeing you in these dresses. But I would never say you have to wear that dress or I don't want you to wear that dress. There's a big difference between a man appreciating how you look and a man trying to guilt trip you into looking a certain way. And what if he throws a temper tantrum whenever you disagree with him, even if it's just the smallest things and especially if you disagree with him in front of other people, in front of friends and in public. Ooh, this is something that controlling men can't stand. And this, in the worst case, might even turn into narcissistic rage. And he might even wait for that until you're home. So if you've ever been in a situation with a guy where in public you disagreed with him, just in a nice way, not even in a confrontational way, but just in a normal way, like adults disagree with each other. And he then acted all friendly in public. But the moment he closed the door behind you when you were at home, then he was exploding. This is a clear sign of controlling behavior. And you deserve a man who doesn't control you. You deserve a man who loves you. You deserve a man who understands you, who has empathy, and who you can have a meaningful and supportive relationship with. And if you want to have the skills to attract such a man, and when you then attract him to make him obsessed with you, then you can click on the first link in the description, read this page till the very end, and find out how seven of my amazing coaching clients have made their man obsessed with them. And no, I'm not talking about controlling man, I'm talking about the right man. And this is the kind of guy that you deserve and that you will be able to meet and to then attract. And if you want, you can find out more about it if you click on the link in the description. And in this relationship, you are no longer a free human being. He doesn't want you to go out alone. And if you go out alone, then he asks you, where do you go? And when you come back, he asks you, where have you been? And he might also ask you to dress very modestly when you leave the house, because he wants to control you. And of course, this desire to control, or let's say this addiction to control, it's not a desire, it's an addiction, is based on insecurity. Controlling men are deeply, deeply insecure. And all the behavior that I share with you in this episode will show you how insecure these men are. And maybe you then see this behavior in your relationship. So no longer ignore the red flags, but be honest to yourself and ask yourself, do I really want to stay in such a relationship? And what if you always have the feeling that you are apologizing for things that he did wrong? He always wants you to apologize, even though he knows that he did something wrong. He knows that he's the one who made the mistake, but you are the one who needs to apologize because apologizing 
would mean a loss of control for him. And every form of affection starts with a condition. If he for example says, hey, why don't we go together to the gym, then we both get fit and healthy. Does that sound like a good idea? This is something that a man in a healthy relationship would say. But what if he says, if you go to the gym, then I love you. When it's always with a condition, if you do this for me, then I'll be happy. But if you do that, then I'll be unhappy. This is controlling behavior. And he loses it when you hold him accountable. Oh, controlling men hate it when you hold them accountable. Because this makes him appear less perfect and less in control. To give you an example, if he told you for days, hey, I will get fit, I will go to the gym, I will look amazing, but he never does it, and you then hold him accountable for it and you ask him, didn't you want to go to the gym more often? And he then immediately freaks out and he blames you and says, you don't go to the gym too, look at you. This is extremely controlling behavior, because he hates it when he doesn't appear perfect. Again, this is based on deep insecurities. And what if he constantly compares you to other women, and that the other women are always prettier? He does that because he wants to make you feel less self-confident and more insecure, so that you will stay with him, and then you don't see what he's really like. And that's why he makes you feel insecure, by comparing you to his ex-girlfriend, to his co-worker, to the waitress, and he does that because he wants to make you feel insecure, which then motivates you to stay with him and to not leave him. And what if, in the worst case, he intimidates and threatens you when you consider leaving him? This is also why a lot of women stay in these relationships. And if he tries to control you with fear, then you have to get out. And if you want me to help you to get out of this relationship and to then find the man of your dreams, the man who's right for you, a man who will treat you with love, with understanding, then you can click on the second link in the description and inquire for a Skype coaching session. And what if his love is never unconditional, but always conditional? Only when you do what he wants, only then does he show you love. And as soon as you think for yourself and you do what you want to do, then he questions your love and he guilt trips you by making you believe that you don't love him and that he loves you more than you love him. And you deserve unconditional love. You deserve a man who's obsessed with you, a man who loves you with all his heart, and that's why you deserve to have the skills to make the right man obsessed with you, so that you will never again end up in a relationship with a controlling man, but only with a loving and empathic man. And if you want to find out how seven of my coaching clients did exactly that, then you can click on the first link in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share your opinion, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.